Good morning, everyone. This is Pastor Alex from Stonehouse Presbyterian Church, and I'm coming to you this Tuesday, May uh, 12th, to read another story for you all. Uh, it's another one written by Matthew Paul Turner. We've done a few of his, called When God Made the World, and it's illustrated by Gillian Gamble. This one uh, just uh, came out pretty recently, uh, but it's got wonderful poetry and illustrations that I encourage you to come close and see with me. So you please join me as we open this book together, When God Made the World. In the very beginning, before anything was, before God started doing what it is God does, when all that existed was wide open space, God imagined a universe and began to create. God hung trillions of lights, stars big and stars bright. God turned the dark sky into a glorious sight. God put planets in places with moons in some cases, and galaxies that reach the outermost spaces. God made comets that fly with tails through the sky and asteroids and meteors that sometimes zoom by. Can you say with me, zoom? Zoom. And with comic explosions, God set space in motion, causing planets to orbit their suns with devotion. I wonder if any of you ever look up at night and see all the stars, and sometimes we can even see some other planets as we look up at the night sky. And somewhere amid all of that swirling light, inside a cluster of milky white, among stars and planets and cosmic dust, God made a place for the story of us. Because when God made the world, God displayed heaven's glory for you and for me and for all the world's stories. So in all that vast space, God made this planet for me and you to share in God's story. Our planet God made a blue and green sphere and designed it to orbit the sun once a year. God made daytime and nighttime climates and seasons and all kinds of weather that varies by region. God made continents and oceans, islands and seas, a north and south pole that God put in deep freeze. God carved rivers and brooks, mountains and caves, made beaches with sand and huge crashing waves, God made tropics and plateaus, glaciers and meadows, marshes and tundras, and erupting volcanoes. Look at the erupting volcano. And apparently the polar bear just goes everywhere along the planet with the, the main person. I like this image of the people canoeing down a river, too. It's one of my favorite things is to kayak or be in a canoe. God made some places high, with peaks in the sky, and places where snowflakes still fall in July. And in quite a few spots, God made it so hot. Should you visit, just know that you must drink a lot. God made valleys so low, and geysers that blow, and under earth's surface, God put wellsprings that flow. Let's look at the mountain peaks, and then the hot desert, both beautiful in different ways. Then with gardens and forests and other things green, God made earth come to life using soil and seed. God made cypress and pines, bushes and vines, all kinds of trees with leaves God designed. Plants full of flavor like basil and thyme and trees that grow citrus like grapefruit and lime. Mm, I like lime, not so much grapefruit. Maybe you like grapefruit in the morning. I just never got a good taste for it. But look at all the friends and animals that are on the boat now seeing the jungle. 
Can you see all the flowers and a ladybug? And lots and lots of things grow and birds that fly. God made flowering plants and plants that enchant. While most you can touch, God made some that you can't. Roses, be warned, are prickly with thorns. And there's an African melon God covered in horns. And poison ivy's backlash, giving you a rash. Wherever it touches, you'll itch and you'll scratch. I don't know if you have ever had poison ivy. I've had it a few times and it makes you itch and itch and itch. So be careful this summer around poison ivy because you don't want to do that. But if you're at home with me right now, if you want to practice like you're itching and scratching, itching and scratching. But don't let those things stop you. Run barefoot through grass. Pick a flower or two or a bouquet, perhaps. Find a tree you can climb or with a seat and some twine. Build your very own swing or a backyard zip line. Look at all the colors this world has to offer. And when you eat grapes or pour syrup on crepes, Mm. Or into a forest you go to escape. Give thanks to God for all that God made, for the fruit and the syrup, for the trees and the shade. Because when God made the world, God did all that God could to create every detail for our joy and our good. Look at all that great food that they're sharing. Doesn't that look like a really fun place to have a meal together? And all the different people and creatures who are joining in. Now what happened next is a mystery at best, but God made a bird, and that bird made a nest. So God filled the sky, perhaps over time, with birds and more birds, and most learned how to fly. God made bluebirds and blackbirds, big birds and small birds, a few birds quite absurd, and the loudest birds you've ever heard. Crows crowed, doves cooed, chickens clucked, owls hooed, robins chirped, pheasants word. The world got noisy when God made birds. And I've been hearing a lot of birds, probably like so many of you have too, outside your homes right now in this beautiful spring weather we've been having. And I wonder if you can make some bird sounds with me. Can you go? Let's make them all together. Can you crow? Crow. Coo. 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 Can you cluck, 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 cluck. Can you hoo like an owl? Can you chirp like a robin? Chirp, chirp, chirp. And then I don't know how to make the sound pheasants make. Maybe some of you can and send it my way. Then the oceans filled with fish, sharks, and krill. Creatures God made with fins and with gills. Swordfish and trout, fish sleek and fish stout. And whales that God made to breathe through a spout. Look at that big, big whale. It needs a spout to breathe through because it's actually a mammal like us and it breathes air even though it swims in the water. God made sea rays and eels, fish red, yellow, or teal, and some fish so odd that they hardly look real, like a fish that has fangs or a monster-like face or a fish that flies or makes its body inflate. Look at all the wonderful creatures in the sea. Looks like there's looks like there's a shark over, or, or a whale over there. And then a polar bear and a turtle and a school of fish. Another school of fish. There's some clownfish like Nemo. And there's a jellyfish up there. And some anemones too. And wherever a river, ocean, or sea touches dry land, there's likely to be all sorts of creatures living their lives on land and in water. That's how they survive. Like otters and frogs, turtles on logs, and crocodiles gathering in swampy bogs. <gasps> yeah, I see the frogs. And I love seeing turtles. And I've only seen otters a few times, but they're very cool to see looks like there might be a little 
alligator here sneaking around. And then God made cows, horses, and goats, and God made gibbons with inflatable throats. God planned lions to roar. Can you make your loudest roar? Roar! And tigers to pounce. And kangaroos, God thought, let's make you bounce. God made bears to growl, moles to plow, and under full moons, coyotes to howl. Can you howl with me? Ooh! Ooh! Donkeys brayed, giraffes bleated, jaguars prayed, and rhinos stampeded. Bunnies hopped. If you're where you are, can you hop like a bunny? Beavers chopped. <gasps> Chop! And in muddy pools, hippos plopped. Look at all the animals of the land. Yes, all living creatures, from whales to snails, from those covered with feathers to those covered with scales, each got designed with a home in mind to develop and evolve if needed over time. Because when God made the world, every creature on earth became a part of life circle, having value and worth. Look at all the wonderful animals that God has made to walk the earth with us. And then God made people, people like you and me. People with souls, people with stories, a global family tree. God made us all flesh and bone, covered in skin, and made all our bodies to have hearts beating within. Would you put your hand on your heart and feel that beating? God gave us bellies and legs, fingers and toes, and fashioned our faces with eyes, mouth, and a nose. God made our bodies uniquely equipped for walking and talking to eat and to skip. God wired our brains to feel love and feel pain, to process and learn to read and retain. But despite all we share, we're also unique. God made us all human with just a few tweaks. Each of our faces, bodies, and traits, our skin tones, our features, God did create. God made some people shy and some people loud, and some who thrive in the midst of a crowd. Some make music, and some like math, and some are prone to blaze their own path. But always remember, because this much is true, God had a purpose for making you, you. So use every gift, every talent or shtick. Make the world better with your God-given trick. Bring smiles to faces. Show love and good graces to those who need hope in all different places. Discover a star, a planet, or moon. Or help keep a forest from dying too soon. Save a whale, hug a tree, protect every bee. Recycle, repurpose, reject apathy. so much you can do to love and care for this wonderful world God's made. Because all of creation whispers God's story, the mountain, the ocean, the blue morning glory, the raindrops, the sunshine, the grapes on the grapevine, with nature, God gives us a glimpse of divine. And just like a star might showcase God's light, or a waterfall give us a sign of God's might, the same could be said of me and of you. How we live, how we love, tells God's story too. Because when God made the world and the world started spinning, the story God wrote was just a beginning. Well, thank you so much for joining me in this book. When God Made the World. I really, really love the illustrations of this book this time. And I especially love the page that talked about when God made us. So let's close this morning with a prayer. And if you can, repeat after me. 
dear God, thank you for making all of this place. Thank you for the stars in the sky. Thank you for the rivers and oceans and lakes. Thank you for the birds that fly and the fish that swim. Thank you for the animals we share this land with. And thank you for making me, me. Help me, God, to see your world and to care for it with love and devotion. Amen. Thank you so much for joining with me this, this morning, and I hope to see you again soon. God bless.